I want to read a passage to you from Acts chapter 2, beginning at verse 43. It says, And everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all those who had believed were together, and had all things in common. And they began selling their property and possessions, and were sharing them with all as anyone might have need. And day by day, continuing with one mind, in the temple and breaking bread from house to house they were taking their meals together with gladness and sincerity of heart praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord was adding to their number day by day those who were being saved i think that is one of the most wonderful passages of scripture it it when it starts with everyone kept feeling a sense of awe the reason wasn't because they were amazed at what they were accomplishing. It was that they were amazed how God was working through them to accomplish great things. There are many people in our, our world today who are struggling, looking for hope, looking for answers. One of the reasons we changed the name of our church to Living Hope Baptist Church was because we know there are so many people struggling without hope. They're very discouraged. They've almost given up. And what I want to say to you, it doesn't have to be like that in your life. Uh, we offer hope to people. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, and Jesus Christ is the one who is the source of the hope that we give. When it talks about uh, everyone kept feeling a sense of awe and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles, What's interesting is in the body of Christ, the church, which is made up of all the members of the church, um, the Lord is working in our lives. In fact, he never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Um, and if we will learn to listen to him and then choose to obey him and follow him, he not only transforms your life and mine, but he also enables us to do some amazing things in our life. And uh, if you're going through life and you feel alone or you're struggling in life, I can tell you one very probable cause of that is you're not in close fellowship with other believers in Christ and you're trying to make it in a world that God designed without God being the guide and the empowerment in your life. And um, it's also, I find, important when it says all those who had believed were together. I don't do very well when I'm alone. I don't think most men really do well when we're lonely and alone. We do better when we're doing things in family or in groups like in a church or where you work, where you work together with other people. And if people are working in harmony and working together on things, you can do a lot together. And it's enjoyable, it's a lot of fun. And it says, and they had all things in common um, this isn't socialism or communism here. It's not talking about that. It just says that they took the things that they had and they were willing to share what they did have with others as someone might have a need. And that could be wisdom. It could be money. It could be food. It could be clothes. It could be whatever the need is. And it says, and they even got to the point they began selling their property and possessions and sharing them with others. When this was written, it was really hard times. It is possible that the United States and the world could experience hard times like that again. If we do so, it's a lot easier to go through hard times if you have a church family and if you have friends that you've made that are trustworthy. And it says, day by day they continued with one mind in the temple and breaking bread in the house, from house to house. They not only were growing larger in a large group, but they were also growing through reaching out in homes. And one of the ministries in our church that I'd like you to find out about, if you ask, is about our home ministry. We have home Bible studies, and people can come and join that. And that's where you just come as you are. You get to ask questions. You make friends. Um, and you're going to grow. <laughs> so uh, makes life a lot more pleasant if you enjoy fellowship with others. So. If you're interested in that and tired of being lonely or if you need some hope or help or you want to encourage someone else 
If you're, all your life's in order, then you can help someone else, okay? God bless you.